So the results are in. The contest has been decided. The race won and lost. And we can now compare the Ryzen 7 5700G with the Intel Core i7 12700K, both for CPU performance and for onboard graphics. Firstly, for onboard graphics, the Ryzen 5700G and the much less expensive 5600G both outperform the 12700 for 3D graphics. These are the most useful for gaming and for professional software like Photoshop. And in 2D graphics, the difference in performance is even more stark. These are the graphics you would use in ordinary everyday tasks. The multi-core performance is won by the i7-12700 with a significant lead over the 5700G. It's very much a pity in my view that this muscle of the 12700 isn't matched by the graphics performance. The single thread performance numbers come out significantly in favour of Intel with the i7-12700 being the natural choice if you're going to be gaming and if you have a good discrete graphics card. That is all if we leave price aside. Looking at the prices, Intel have gone for a price at launch that is about $50 more than the 5700G was at launch. However, if you look at prices now, the 5700G is selling for a deep, deep discount at Black Friday prices and probably will continue like that into Cyber Monday, as is much of the new Ryzen lineup. Some links in the description to the best of these prices. We also need to take into account that the 12th generation CPUs have PCIe Gen 5 support, whilst the 5700G is stuck at PCIe Gen 3 speeds for NVMe drives. We don't know yet what kind of insane speeds are going to be coming from the uh, PCIe Gen 5 NVMe drives. All in all, it's probably a good time for AMD to permanently lower prices on their chips because the Intel CPUs will certainly be favored by keen gamers. As for onboard graphics, the AMD APUs are clear winners and still a strong recommendation for lighter professional graphics workloads. In fact, this video and all the other recent ones on this channel have been edited on the 5700G and the onboard graphics are pretty reasonable for entry-level 1080p gaming too. And finally, we have to give a shout out to Apple's M1 iMac, which came out earlier this year, which is the closest competition I could identify for the 5700G as far as desktop onboard graphics are concerned. Guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.